Hi friends, I'm Olga Kirsch and welcome back to my studio. Today I prepared something special, something funny and something that could be a really great activity with your painting kids. Uh, let's paint a floral bunny and combine all our flowers into that nice picture. To paint our floral bunny, first we need to paint a bunny. Um, paint a shape which looks like an onion. It will be a head, but of course uh, <laughs> everyone has its imagination, his own imagination about bunnies. Um, maybe your kid will help you <laughs> to paint and um, also I think that's a nice activity, a nice um, way to, to paint with kids. So, so we painted our bunny outline. I suggest to remove with the soft brush the lines. We, we just need the idea where the borders are of the bunny. So I loose everything and I start to paint. I made some spring cleaning in my palette and reduced a lot and I hope it will be more easier for you to follow how I work with my palette. I um, start with painting, for example, a rose. Um, important, do not place big uh, flowers where um, usually eyes are supposed to be. For example, I will start painting rolls in one of the ears. It's a um, usual principle how we paint uh, painted roses. You could watch one of my tutorials or paint in your style. So we arrange uh, six strokes and sometimes I soften the edges, dilute, dilute the edges. dilute uh, uh, and um, in this way of creating brush strokes and bring them around I paint rows. It's nice then it, uh, it vanishes a little bit because we will add a lot of greenery <laughs> later on for a contrast. No worries. And I add some colors into the center. Uh, just like this, um, let's see what else can we paint. For example, I have quinacridon purple. I have quinacridon purple. I will mix it with ultramarine blue. It creates very nice lavender color. And I paint another rose. I start with small bold strokes, round strokes. Then I soften a little bit the edges. I paint with six strokes. I bring all these strokes to one point. Uh, all my roses, they look a little bit, uh, they are a little bit tilted. Because I, I think that creates um, better volume for our illustration. So um, instead of roses, you could paint any of your favorite color uh, flowers. And right now, it <laughs> it's actually it looks more like a peony, which is fine. Nice one. <laughs> um, I really like this lavender color. I would definitely add another flower maybe here and now when we are getting very close to the ear border try to set your flowers into the border don't go outside of the line I paint flowers just with brush strokes. Sometimes I apply more pressure, 
less pressure, but in principle it's painting brush strokes and adding some contrast inside. I have a tutorial about spring flowers. You could check it out and, for example, assemble all the flowers from that tutorial into this bunny or any other flowers. I would like to paint uh, something, something warm. I take um, cadmium orange with a little bit of alizarin crimson little bit of alizarin crimson and I will mm, paint some nice flower just right here mm, it could be cosmos flower for example um, as we painted in the previous videos very very tender and um, when we paint flowers it's always nice to remember about the center because once we painted the center it um, gather all the idea of the flower together olive green olive green green leaves um some tulips would be lovely i think so alizarin crimson, alizarin crimson, let's add a tulip around, around here. Front petal, soften, diluted, a lot of white areas in between, a little bit darker, darker colors around, around the middle. It's a very fun and meditative painting and I'm pretty sure kids would love it <laughs> as well. Now, um, to make it a little bit easier for us, I would suggest we switch to painting greenery. I have my... No, it's, I, <laughs> once I change the palette, now it's... <laughs> I have to concentrate to find my colors. Dollar green with burnt sienna, green color. And let's paint some leaves. All leaves should also um, somehow ends around the, um, this area, around this border. Try uh, purposefully put all these lines, arrange all these lines around the border. It's nice to combine, to add a drop of olive green into, into the greenery. First of all, it has very fresh spring feeling. And secondly, it's... Um, it's a contrast to this cold dark green and contrast is what we are looking for in our, in our paintings. Let's um, add some tiny strokes. Um, it's important that none of the stems um, stop somewhere. They all have to grow and create um, seamless, I would say, um, seamless idea of the picture. I'm jungling with my brushes and I could add small, tiny little flowers um, around. It's nice when you have um, your favorite flowers you, co you could arrange, but it's also um, kind of fun to create something imaginary, I would say. If something is too bright and bold, just wash your brush and remove the excess 
mm, water, uh, excess boldness. Keep adding greenery around. Remove some colors. Make bigger, um, bigger branches, smaller branches. Olive green. Uh, dark green, sage green, which we made out of tallow green, and burnt sienna. Mm. Add some fillings, for example, um, yellow, soft yellow color. I do not really like really yellow yellow color, but I could paint with orange some imitation of forsythia the yellow nice yellow spring flower which we paint just with brush strokes now we um we fill in all the gaps. Our task is now to fill in very, <laughs> in a very gentle way, all, all the gaps. For example, for ears, um, crocuses or again tulips would be very, very nice. To set, you could set one tulip in one ear and one tulip on the other ear. If you add green color at the moment where, where paper is still wet, you will get this lovely mix and some greenery around. If you like uh, these water moves, you have to paint a little bit more quicker, but also you could just relax and <laughs> just relax. <laughs> I'm setting um, all the leaves, all the extra greenery around the ear of a future bunny. They probably still not really clear where 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 is the bunny. Let's add some daisy, for example. I try, um, although it looks like a lot of colors, you probably notice that in, in fact it's just one, two, three, four, five, maybe six colors. <laughs> Still maybe a little bit too much. But they they all work together very well. So it's a daisy, which I set especially intentionally to the border. Because I want it to work. work as a border setter, border shaping. And of course I do not forget to add greenery around. It 
it's nice to divide our rolls from um, our daisy. I might add a little bit of purple color into these um, petals. I would like now to add something to paint with something purple. Mm -hmm. Because it could be crocuses, it could be mm, not what it could be, crocuses, crocuses or tulips. They're perfect for bunnies' ears. With a dry brush, I remove the excess mm, water. The other brush, I set everything on a stem. Crocuses, they always they have this lovely orange center with just a drop of orange and then it really tells you which flower it is. Isn't that, isn't that great? Isn't that amazing? I try to combine different um, green colors to avoid monotone, monotone feeling. Just keep looking uh, what's missing, for example, some um, yellowish yellowish orange mm. tiny little flowers would be nice right here i paint it rather diluted because once you add some something yellow something orange it will grab all your attention attention to that maybe they do not need this let's paint an alpha cynthia it's very um, schematic, it's very loose for Cynthia. We could, uh, I could record a tutorial about the the real one, uh, the um, lifelike. Mm -hmm. Dry brush strokes. Now we already we are probably getting a feeling of our bunny, bunny ears at least. This one could definitely be seen. Mm. Now let's uh, purple. Purple could be could be nice some pink or yellow i would say something yellow um something more like um pansy pansies brush strokes and with some pink around tender diluted You could remove um, some excess colors with a paper towel and add details on the dried area. Just like this. Few more petals. we are doing right now is uh, we are almost there as you probably already see we just need to find right 
red flowers um, to fill everything and I think another pink rose would be really nice and I will set it to the opposite direction. I would like to paint it in a slightly different way. Um, it would be more tilted so we could see the bigger um, petals and all the rest is just small tiny brush strokes and I soften everything I extend the flower until it reaches the neighbors add some dark darkness into the middle a lot of greenery around you could really play around with types of greenery you are adding into it and colors my favorite for spring flowers is olive olive green in all its combinations but it also works very nicely with sage green some grass looking details Mm -hmm. Almost there. Purple, um, some purple flowers, maybe forget me nots. As I said, it's um, you could your approach could be in two ways either you have certain flowers in mind and you try to emulate them. Or you just paint, let's say, five petals flowers, which um, you might learn how to paint in the other, in the other tutorials. It's all completely fine. But it's nice to have some flowers which are recognizable because we, it's our nature to find something which we could relate to, which we recognize and this feeling of recognition is very very important so for example um, here is tulip here is rose um, they are like core elements here um, all the rest could be a little bit of imaginary friends Uh, last, mm. yeah, uh, one of last colors, let's say, another purple, I think, another purple, another purple, some, some bell flower looking. Always wash your brush before you make other moves. Don't leave flowers like in nowhere. They should have their their stem, their connection, even if it is just a small one. In this case, um, no need to, you know, to create the real, um, <laughs> the real garden where all the flowers has to grow from somewhere. But it's important that nothing is, you know, just hanging without any any support in the nowhere. Um, I would like to add a few last details to our daisy. It looks a little bit too loose. So I just add a few tiny 
Press strokes in it. And I have a look from my camera. It's very handy to get up and have a look through your camera and see what is missing. I think actually nothing, nothing is missing. And we did a great <laughs> job today. And we painted a really ni nice, beautiful bunny. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you really enjoyed the process and the point of today's tutorial is just to have fun and try out different flowers, different brush strokes and create a very beautiful, lovely picture for an Easter. Happy Easter, friends! Bye-bye!